you are about to experience Harvard football. 138 years of innovation and success. 14 Ivy League and seven national championships. Under head coach Tim Murphy, it is the only program in Ivy League history to win at least seven games for 11 straight seasons. A streak that continues today with six Ivy titles and two perfect seasons. The sixth best winningest percentage in all of Division I during the 2000s. 13 consecutive years with an All-American. This is Harvard Football. The season began with quiet optimism, with the Crimson picked among the league favorites behind 16 returning starters, including all Ivy quarterback, Collier Winters, and All-American defensive tackle, Josue Ortiz. In its opener at 3-0 Holy Cross, Harvard was one mistake away, but it was a big mistake, as the difference maker allowed the Crusaders to narrowly defend home field with a 30-22 victory. It would prove to be one of the few quarterbacking mistakes for Harvard all season in an otherwise fine performance for Collier Winters, who threw for two touchdowns and ran for another against Holy Cross. It would also be Harvard's lone defeat, but not before a tense showdown in the Ivy opener against fellow title contender Brown. Expected to have one of the Ivy's best passing attacks, Brown entered historic Harvard Stadium looking to do something nobody had done in a decade win a home opening game against the Crimson, and this year would be no exception. In front of 20,000 fans, Harvard pushed aside torrential downpours and an injury to Collier Winters as all Ivy running back Trevor Scale pounded Brown with 129 yards. For a short field goal, and it's gonna be a fake. Chapel's gonna run option. Chapel is gonna be Got a first down anyway. just short of the goal line. First and goal at the one again from the gun. Chapel with setbacks to the right and left. Hands off to Scales, and Scales is going to slam his way in for the touchdown. Junior quarterback Colton Chapel finished an 80 yard scoring drive with help from all Ivy tight end Cameron Brait. Backs to the right and left. Uchik is in the backfield. Oh, Chapel's got a man open. Brait with a one handed catch and a touchdown. With that, Harvard handed things over to its defense, which forced five turnovers compiled three sacks, and answered the call whenever asked. Newhall Caballero, catch was to his right. Four wide in the package, looking. End zone, intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by the Crimson, Dan Minamiti. Newhall Caballero from the gun, loads up and oh. is going to be sick. Ball is loose into the arms of Lyon. And uh, that's either going to be a fumble or an interception. All of it added up to a convincing 24-7 win over Brown and a big advantage in the Ivy League race. Stepping outside of Ivy play, Harvard's defense stepped all over Lafayette in holding the Leopards to 40 rushing yards, thanks to six sacks, three turnovers, and 10 tackles for a loss in a 31-3 victory. Colton Chapel completed a methodical 13 of 18 passing, and freshman running back Zach Bowden burst onto the scene with a scintillating 43-yard touchdown run, serving notice of Harvard's depth on offense. In its first two victories, Harvard flexed its muscle on the ground, but the Crimson proved it was anything but one-dimensional during an eye-opening performance at Cornell. Hi everybody and welcome to Sholkoff Field here in beautiful Ithaca, New York. It's a picture perfect day for football. Harvard getting set to take on Cornell in an Ivy League matchup. The rest of the league would be left talking about Colton Chapel, who flooded the Big Red secondary with big play after big play to the tune of 414 yards. A total that lifted the Alpharetta Georgia native into second place on Harvard's single game passing list. He threw for four touchdown passes to four different receivers. First and 10 Harvard lets at the Cornell, let's call it the 11. Four men front for the big red. Snap to Chapel, looks to his left, throws the fade pass. Chris is there, touchdown Harvard. Snap to Chapel, throwing downfield, receiver is there. It's caught! Alex Sarkeesian scores on a 42-yard pass from Colton Chapel. 
give will be fake to Bowden, and Chapel looks downfield. Cameron breaks there, caught, touchdown, big throw between Chapel and Bray, 27 yards score. At the Cornell, 26, snap to Chapel. Looks to his right, throws again. Cal Yuschek makes the grab, and Yuschek will just get in. Touchdown for Harvard. A 26-yard strike for Yuschek, and now this one's getting a little out of hand. It's 40 to 24. Harvard's skill and depth were on full display as four different receivers went for 80 yards apiece. Alex Sarkissian and Chris Lordich both surpassed 100 yards, and the Crimson scored in every quarter during a 41-point outburst. Chapel was named the Ivy's Offensive Player of the Week after leading Harvard to its 10th victory over the Big Red in the past 11 seasons. Chapel didn't seem to get enough in the Cornell game, so he kept throwing to the delight of the Harvard fans in a game against Bucknell. A repeat performance as Ivy Offensive Player of the Week was a foregone conclusion after Chapel became the first player in Harvard history to throw for at least four touchdowns in consecutive games, and just the second to throw for five touchdowns when he did so in just 35 minutes of game action. In the 42-3 victory over the Bison, Chapel threw his five touchdowns on just 13 completions. And he also did damage with his feet, rushing for 71 yards against a Bucknell team that entered play ranked second nationally at just 62 rushing yards against per game. His five touchdowns marked the first time since 1953 that a Harvard quarterback had thrown for that many, a span of 544 games. On the other side of the ball, the Crimson had Bucknell quarterback Brandon Wesley running for his life as the Crimson held Wesley's Bison to minus five yards rushing, sacked him five times, and intercepted him four times. The Crimson also got a jolt from Cy2 Smith III, who became the first Harvard freshman to return a kickoff for a touchdown in a 42-3 battery. For fans who like offense, Harvard provided a bounty in 2011. Entering the Princeton game, Colton Chapel was the third rated quarterback in the nation, and that's where he would stay as a healthy Collier Winters retook the reins of this juggernaut Crimson offense. In his first game back in over a month, the senior from Claremore, Oklahoma, picked up right where Chapel had left off, throwing touchdown passes. Winters scorched the Tigers for five TDs to also tie Harvard's single game record and give the Crimson three straight weeks with two Crimson quarterbacks earning Offensive Player of the Week honors. First and 10 to 17, snap to Winters. Fakes it to Bowden, will roll to his right, now throws to Zach and Bowden's gonna get close to the end zone and will get in. Touchdown for Bowden off the 17 yard pass play from Caldier Winters. Snap to Winters on first and 10. Looking downfield, throws. Lordich is there. Caught by Chris. Touchdown, Crimson. A big 53-yard strike from Caldier Winters to Chris Lordich. And don't look back, folks. It's 27 to 9. The Crimson racked up 560 yards of offense and a 17-yard scoring pass to Cameron Brait in the fourth quarter sealed its 56-39 victory and Harvard's highest scoring output since 1999. On defense, senior captain Alex Gideon continued his streak of forcing turnovers, now reaching four straight games. Fellow linebacker Joshua Boyd made his first start of the season and kept the Tigers in his sights with a career-high 17 tackles. Already having played a home game in torrential rain, the Crimson would contend with steady snow against Dartmouth. The weather meant to move back to the run game, but it didn't change the outcome, as Harvard's bruising offensive line opened up big holes as the offense recorded its fourth straight 40-point game during a 41-10 romp. For the first time in 137 years, three Harvard runners surpassed the 100-yard barrier, each averaging better than 7.5 yards per carry. Trevor Scales, 139 yards and two touchdowns. 
And it's only going to be fine. I don't know who I resume. Who's that snap? Collier Hill goes straight ahead and has room to run. Does Trevor Scale down to the 40, 35, 30, still on his feet and brought down inside the 25. A great run by the junior from Stone Mountain, Georgia, Trevor Scales. Ivy League Rookie of the Week, Zach Bowden. 112 yards and two touchdowns. Washington Harvard and Dartmouth 21 snap to winners. Collier will give straight ahead to Bowden and Bowden gets off a Dartmouth guy still on his feet inside the 10 at the seven yard line. First and goal Harvard at the eight and they'll give it again to Bowden and he gets in towards the goal line. Is he in? Yes, he deserves it. Touchdown, Harvard. And Collier Winters, 126 yards and two touchdowns. Slack guy goes in motion, snap to winners. Collier runs straight ahead to the 10, to the five, touchdown, Harvard. 13 yard run for Collier winners, straight ahead on the college quarterback draw. In fact, Winters became the first Harvard quarterback to run for 100 yards in a game since current NFL starter Ryan Fitzpatrick did so in 2004. The focus was squarely on the offensive line, however, as all Ivy selections, Kevin Murphy, Jack Haluba, and Jerry Rice watch list honoree Will Whitman led the Crimson on scoring drives of 99, 95, 84, and 77 yards. The defense held Dartmouth All-American back Nick Schwieger to just 50 yards. Before giving way, the starters held Dartmouth to just seven first downs and 140 yards of offense through three quarters. With the convincing victory, Harvard remained undefeated in the Ivy League and was one game from setting a substantial program milestone.